Hey everyone, I'm Adrian, um, working in computer games, Ubisoft, and I just made this presentation on the spot today. Thought it would be interesting to share with you my experiments in static analysis. Um, and why did I do that? Um, I mean, we, computer games never crash on everyone. On it, never. Nothing breaks there. Everything is perfect, right? So we have a lot of issues uh, on uh, actually on uh, computer games because we are not really memory safe. We, we're just really fast. Uh, and there are kind of things that usually you would be able to catch in a review. So, like uh, we have memory overrides uh, because we use raw pointers. Uh, people make mistakes with lambda captures, it's classic. Uh, you have your container and you're assuming three functions during the iteration that nobody modifies the container. Oh, that's wrong. So, it's a lot, uh, a big challenge. It's also we have huge code bases, right? Uh, hundreds of thousands of lines of code. Uh, they're not necessarily built on the STL, so any tool that targets STL doesn't really work for us because we literally overwrite everything. So, yeah, that's why we were looking at, uh, at that. We do have some tools, but they don't really work well, right? So we wanted to track memory allocation look at security, buffer overflows. Uh, we also have uh, stability. And we are also looking at, uh, you know, how can we model existing code? Like you have an existing framework, existing containers, maybe even like existing handles, and you want to be able to trap and make sure that people are not using those uh, correctly. Ideally, you'd use the compiler, right? But Sometimes that's not the option. You cannot do that, or uh, the code base is such that you can't. We have a tool for that, um, uh, open source. We have many other tools uh, in, in the industry, right? It's uh, a big business, static analysis. Uh, we also have Clang Analyze. So I thought, what can it do? Let's try it out. So I did a couple of uh, experiments, uh, simple, the simple test is you have a function. Uh, it just tests some, some things there. You have print your arguments and then just randomly delete memory. This is a simple test of the random of the Clang analyzed. And what you're seeing here is actually uh, the, the output for, from that. Um, it works. It catches it. Um, couple of notes here. Just uh, look at CPP check. Don't try to do Clang dash analyze manually. Uh, there are a lot of caveats with that. Um, doesn't cache translation units. So if you have multiple CPP files, yeah, use CPP check. Just look at that. And I'm not going to go into more details here. Um, there are also some things about defect, defect tracking, Jira tickets, uh, and build system integration. So yeah, check out uh, CPP check. The more complex case is, hey, can this catch my custom container vector that I write for my uh, gaming application? Um, yes, it can catch, but sometimes it does not, <laughs> right? So uh, the, 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 the issue with that is, uh, I didn't have the slides to present them here, but uh, there are some caveats in the CPC uh, analyzer. So first things uh, that I hit is uh, you, need to, you need to actually uh, increase the number of the for loops max analyzer. So that means if you have a for loop, it will stop after five iterations. If your bug is after 15, it will not find it. So you have to increase that to something that's okay. Iterators are not working. So if your iterator is called begin, or and, uh, I'm sorry, you have to rename it or change the Clang source code. Uh, there are some uh, uh, codes I think doesn't work very well with the standard library. It explicitly skips iterator checking uh, in Clang Analyze. So be aware of that if you're using. Um, and there is also some specific uh, uh, Chromium code checks in there and changes specific to that code base. Um, 
definitely don't want to touch the clang analyze, but uh, you know, depends on <laughs> what you're trying to do. And finally, just as a conclusion, it works. You can use it. Uh, be aware of this. Uh, uh, caveats, and you can even use it to model your code, right? So if you put uh, things like uh, defines in the CPP, uh, in your CPP code, you can change how the static analyzer behaves. And the other thing is you, you don't have to implement to have your big vector class that uh, has everything. You, you can have an if def and model it just for the, the analyzer. So you can catch errors in the downstream code that uses the vector class. Um, yeah, catch errors earlier, everybody wins. Thank you. <laughs>